you know that it's almost time for me to go back to Iceland to work. So I, I need to get my camera bag all packed. And you're bringing all of that with you? That's a bit ridiculous. Bringing isn't it? all of my camera stuff in my camera bag like I normally would. Uh huh. Yeah, well, good luck with that. Thank you. You know mm -hmm. that people are watching, right? Yeah, I just noticed the camera there <laughs> just now. It's like, whoa! So we had a really nice argument about Greg going to Iceland next week and about all his stuff that he wants to take because his camera bag is just ridiculously big in my mind. Okay, yeah, uh, a nice argument, you say? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but Ke Nelly's camera bag isn't even really a camera bag. It kind of is. I made it a camera bag. True, yeah, and it is a good opportunity to show you what Nelly's camera bag has versus my camera bag uh, leading into Iceland, and that is all starting right now. Let's go. <laughs> We are going to start this video with Nelly's camera bag, so let's see what she has. This is a pack safe bag, which is an anti-theft day pack bag, and it's not actually a camera bag, but I made it into a camera bag because it's so useful. Which is a good point, like there's so many different camera bags out there, but for a number of years I also had just kind of a normal backpack uh, that you can make into a camera bag. You yeah, know? and you can do that too, obviously. Mm -hmm. So my most important part of equipment for vlogging is my Canon M50 which with the 11 to 22 millimeter um, wide angle lens, which I lose use for vlogging. Ah, that to you. Thank you very much. It's like a little toy. It's not. It weighs absolutely <laughs> nothing. We actually got you this because Tom was using his M50 in Patagonia. Yeah. Remember? And you were like, oh, I want to get a little vlogging video camera that still does okay photos. And uh, this is a very, very good version of something like that. It's great Canon. for beginners. It's absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Mm. And this little lens, when, you, uh, when you're actually using it, that's at 11 and you can see it kind of like rotates like that but mm -hmm. if you put it down to 11 and then click this little button you can kind of lock it down to make it even smaller yeah right which is really good for traveling and then did you want to tell them about this too yeah well the flip the flip screen you can also turn around to make sure that it doesn't get damaged that it isn't exposed to yeah what's happening in this camera bag so it's an extra security for the the screen yeah which like is protection. really useful i have that on my panasonic and my canon as well and I, yeah. I actually when i'm traveling i tend to flip the screen around uh to protect it all the mm. time very, i very always cool. forget it but i should be doing it right so there's the m50 with the little plate on it which i'm sure goes into the next piece exactly so this is my gimbal a stabilizer for the um canon <laughs> m50 stabilizer yeah. Um, which is really small. Like this is one of the smallest gimbals I think on the market probably for that type of camera. And it is the Fiotech G6 Plus um, model, which I'm really happy with. I also made a review on that if you want to check it out. Um, but yeah, it works fine for the M50. I'm not sure it would work with any of your cameras, probably not. Definitely not. No. But it works with my M50 with the 11 to 22 millimeter lens yeah. and with the where is it this would also be a really good gimbal for like a small sony like the rx100 yes, it would be any yeah. kind of like tiny cameras this would work really really yeah. well so it also works with the m50 and the 18 to 150 zoom lens which i use occasionally for details and yeah so it's a bit heavier with that one but it's still yeah the gimbal still holds it yeah, this is a really good it's lens, a good lens from yeah. the, the M series from Canon. The 18 to 150. That with the wide angle, you can cover so much. Yeah. It's a really, really good little kit for, for vlogging yeah. and making videos. Super minimalistic too, which I love. So the next piece is a video mic microphone from Rode. Yeah, the video mic crow. There's the Rode's really confusing. That... Yeah, they've got the video <laughs> mic go, the video mic crow, micro, yeah, and mic the video crow. mic pro. Yeah. So those are three different mics. This is the cheapest. And you have and the same one, I right? have the exact same one. Yes, yeah, so does Brendan. So does Tom. And they're yeah. all really good little mics. Um, this is, yeah, I think out of the three, it's probably the some of the best quality and it's the cheapest. So. It's good. Yeah, it yeah the problem with the Video Mic Pro is you have to turn it on. Mm, Whereas this one, when you just plug it in, it's automatically recording, yeah. which is really nice. And the amount of times I forgot to turn on the Pro and had no audio. <laughs> anyway, this thing's really good. Her dead cat's in a much better shape than mine. Well, too. it's actually the second one. Oh, that's the second one you yeah, had. I okay. reordered it because I lost the other one. 
Um, the next kit, piece of kit is the is my little tripod which clips onto the gimbal at the end here if I take this off and then I can use it as a stand for the gimbal or I can just use it by itself um, and attach the camera to it and use it for time lapses or long exposure photographs. Cool. Yeah, very handy. I've got one of these as well for my gimbal. My cell phone. Ooh. Yeah, I use my cell phone a lot for uh, filming because I only have one camera so it's nice to have a second angle. And also the um, the quality of the Samsung Galaxy S10, which is this one, is really really good. But there's a ton of good quality um, phone cameras. cell phone cameras out there right now. Mm -hmm. So I think you could be using those, but you don't, right? No, I don't, but I could. Yeah, I see more and more people filming B-roll with their phones. Or yeah. like you said, if you don't have a second camera, this can work. You yeah, know, so absolutely. yeah, that's pretty handy to have. Okay, and last but not least, I have a variable ND filter, just one for the M50 lens. But and that fits on both lenses. It fits on both lenses, which is great, yeah. Very so cool. they're the same size. And that's made by Gobi. That's made by Gobi. Yeah, it's actually okay. pretty good. I like Comes that one. Comes with a little container. And that's it. That's it? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Nelly's camera bag that's not a camera bag with a perfect little minimalist setup, I must say. Yeah. It's very impressive. Yeah. Thank you. I'm happy uh, with it. Okay, good. Should we see how that compares to mine? Well, yeah. Get ready for this. Next up is my camera bag, and I'm going to show you guys a little trick that I learned from Mr. Vanson. If you use the uh, the waist strap, you can actually like swing it around like this. Oh. And then if your camera bag opens from the back, you can open it up and get into your stuff from here. That's pretty cool. Very good if you don't want to put your bag on the ground. Um, but let's start actually from the top because I've got some stuff in here that I want to pass to now. So mine's not really in the best order right now. But uh, here, can you hold that? Mm -hmm. Let's go with the camera first. So this is the Panasonic GH5, which is my primary video camera. It's also got the flippy screen so that I can uh, keep it in my bag with the screen protected. Um, and there's no lens on it right now because the lenses are in the bag. You can take this back. So there's that nifty little trick, but I'm now gonna take it off because it's not necessary. So in the actual bag, I've got a, a couple different lenses. Let's start with the main lens for the GH5. So we actually have it on there. This is the 8 to 18 Leica Panasonic lens, the Lumix. Uh, it's 2.8, really, really good wide angle. The Panasonic GH5 is a micro four thirds, so it's actually like a 16 to 36. And that's my wide angle vlogging lens. I use that a lot. Mm -hmm. So that's my sort of main camera lens. Also got a second lens for that camera. This is the Panasonic Leica Lumix 12 to 60 2.8, which is uh, effectively like a 24 to 120. Uh, very, very good for getting like details and the telephoto stuff. Um, and again, use that a lot for vlogging and making videos. So you essentially have two lenses for your video camera yeah, as well. Yeah, two main lenses for the video camera. I could have more. Yeah. Uh, there's a couple more that I really want, but uh, traveling the way we do and only having a certain amount of space in this camera bag, I've just got those two lenses for the Panasonic. So still five. keeping it minimalistic. These are my drone filters. I actually made a video about these just like two videos back. Yeah. Um, so if you're interested in ND polarizer filters for the drone, check out that video. Only got four of them. This is a set of Benro filters. And in here, I've got a variable ND for the Panasonic, uh, which is really nice for filmmaking. And then in the top pouch here, I've got a polarizer and the Benro FH100 M2 um, set up for landscape photography filters. So that's not actually for your video camera. No, we're on to still photography now. Yeah, that's for uh, taking photos. I sometimes use it for like time-lapse stuff, mm -hmm. but uh, this filter kit is, is pretty good. I've got a lot of different filters in here. I've got two uh, ND filters, a six stop and a 10 stop. And then I've got a whole bunch of soft grad, uh, medium grad and hard grad filters. However, funny enough on the road trip in the US, I learned a lot from Gavin and Nick about uh, Photoshop and mm -hmm. blending images. They and don't actually need them. I wonder like the more, the better I get at Photoshop, the less I think I really need these, but it just means a lot more post-processing where yeah. I like to try and get it right in camera. And I learned like how to use filters originally. So I still feel really comfortable with these for landscape that photography. Yeah. Okay, let's go to the drone because we mentioned the filters. This is the drone controller for the Mavic 2 Pro. This is my uh, chamois cloth. 
It's a microfiber uh, with a nice little Snell Media logo on there. I've actually got 30 of these uh, back at your mom's house, yeah, which I sell. Some left? Yeah, there are. There's probably like maybe 15 or something okay. left. So whenever I remember to try and do uh, merch again, this will probably be one of the first products. Uh, so yeah, that's the drone controller, which goes with, boom, the Mavic 2 Pro. This is my drone. I use this all the time. Right now it's got the, uh, the four stop uh, filter on the front. Love this drone. I've flown this so many times in multiple different countries. Fantastic piece of equipment. Yeah, it's relatively small and compact too to other like drones, I think. Mm -hmm. Uh, what else is in the bag? I got my mini tripod similar to Nelly's. Very, very good quality. Feels great. It's light and uh, yeah, stable. Strong. So that's yeah. good. I've got the uh, Rode Lav Mic. This is very useful and very cheap. It's great for interviews. It's great for uh, recording audio in the field from a distance from your camera, mm -hmm. uh, as well as in like a city or an, an area where there's uh, like kind of noise around. This is really, really Which useful. Which especially when you're making travel videos, anything related to travel happens a lot. Like you're just out in the street and it's way too loud. There's yeah. no way you could yeah. understand it. Makeshift studios, just like this one. <laughs> uh, I've got a, a rain cover for my bag. All right, let's go to photography lenses. This is the 24 to 70 Canon 2.8 uh, EF lens. I've had this for like five years and it's still absolutely amazing. <laughs> it looks a bit rough. Yeah, it's definitely had a few, uh, you know, kicks and bounces, but it still works really well. I've had it serviced a couple times too, and mm -hmm. it really works like new. So that is awesome to have. Then here's the Canon. This is the, uh, the 2.8 uh, beast mode telephoto from uh, Canon, the L series. Again, five years old, also in pretty rough shape but it is fantastic lens. I know a lot of you watching this maybe own this lens or you know which one I'm talking about here. It's really heavy. It's the heaviest piece of equipment uh, that I have. I could not um, travel with that. That would yeah. drive me nuts. It's crazy. It's like- a I can't camera. even hold this stable. Like there's no way. It's such a good lens for portraiture and for uh, wildlife and even for landscapes as well. So you just can't go wrong. This is probably my favorite lens. Uh, and then what you're not seeing is the uh, Canon R, which is what we're filming on right now. So the second camera body that I have is the Canon EOS R. And right now we've got the 16 to 35 2.8 L. And that's all set up on the Benro tripod, which is a travel tripod, carbon fiber. Um, and that goes on the outside of my bag. But everything else that you're seeing here fits inside of this camera bag. And this gimbal is the Xeon Tech Crane V2. Look at the difference. Yeah, yeah, really. <laughs> I've got like the This is so much heavier version. too. Yes, it is. Like carrying this around for the entire day with the camera on top, it's just it's, get a gimbal uh, arm from that. Yeah, it's definitely really heavy, um, but it's a bulletproof gimbal. It's That's so true. good. I mean, That's I've been great. thinking about getting the, the Webuild S, which is probably going to happen eventually uh, because it's such a good gimbal by, made by the same company. They're just upping their game, but they really nailed it with this one. The Crane mm -hmm. V2 is a really good piece of uh, kit and it's a good quality product. The batteries last forever and it works really well for me. So that's what I'm using. Yeah. Um, there are a few things that I kind of wish I had uh, that I don't like an external monitor, um, you know, more lenses, obviously um, it's, it's just a game of balancing what you want and what you really need and what works for you, right? I think you're also very so. tech savvy. You really like buying equipment. And yeah, I like having equipment new equipment. That's true. Do research about equipment all day long. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> now in the pockets here, I've got what? How many is that? Four. Four. Five uh, plus six in the camera. Seven. I got seven extra batteries for both of the cameras, and plus the extra the drone. Yeah, plus the extra drone battery. Those all stay in the camera bag with me. I've got a couple of extra SD cards, two shower caps, emergency toilet paper, always good to have in your camera bag <laughs> in the case that, uh, you know, you get the call of nature and you need to take a Canadian uh, step into the forest and drop one, yeah, squat and shot, yeah. <laughs> This is a uh, extra base plate, which I use for my cameras in case I want to connect to the Arca Swiss um, plate on the tripod. And I think that's it for my camera bag. Let us know too about what your camera bag is. What do you carry in your camera bag and how does it compare to Nelly's or to mine? Do you like to have it like compact and complex or minimalistic and light or yeah. Let us know. Let us know in the comments. Also let us know whose you think 
is better, right? This is a you can't competition. Compare that. There's no way you're a professional videographer and photographer. I don't even do photography, so. Right, but I still feel like I need more equipment too, which is funny. Yeah. And anyway, we could go on and on about this, but it's really cool to show you what Nelly carries in her camera bag versus what I have mm -hmm. in my camera bag. And that's it. I think we should end this video here. So yeah, the uh, next one will be to compare our suitcases to. Oh uh, yeah, right. Huh? And then we can go close. <laughs> <laughs> that could get very yeah. interesting. But as always, thanks so much for watching. I hope you liked the video. We'll see you on the next one from Berlin. Yeah, and from Iceland. Iceland. <laughs> nice. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye bye. Okay, it's fine. Right? Bye. Yeah. Bye. You're doing this awkward goodbye. Like, what's this all about? Bye-bye. I've learned from the Brits.